Hey everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can use Windows Package Manager to search for a software to install in your machine. And then we'll also walk you through how to install it as well. So first of all, I wanna search for a bit of software and I'm gonna be very specific about my search. I wanna search for the GitHub CLI command tool. So what I do is type in winget search and then apostrophe GitHub CLI and then close it off with another apostrophe. What this does is search through the catalogue of software and because we've been very specific about the name of it, it returns one value for us, that GitHub CLI tool. Now we're given back the name of the, the, the software, we're given back the ID, we're given back the version and also the source of where Windows Package Manager is actually going to get that download or that installation for us. Before I install it though, I want to interrogate it. I want to find out more information about this bit of software and find out whether it's the right version I'm looking for and if it's coming from a legitimate, a legitimate source or not. So what I type in is winget show and then the ID for that package. So github.cli. Now, as you can see, I've got a ton of information back. I've got the version number, I've got the publisher, I've got this publisher support URL, so if I had any issues, I could go there. I've got a description, I've got licensing information, and I've also got release notes about this version as well. Now, at the very bottom is important information. So we've got the URL that Windows Package Manager is going to use to actually retrieve the software for us. So we can see here that it's a legitimate source. It's actually the GitHub CLI um, repository um, where the source code is stored and updated. So this is a URL you would go to manually if you're wanting to download it. It's no different. It's just helping Windows Package Manager automate that for you. We've also got the SHA256 code as well. So Windows Package Manager will use that to download and check that the hash is legitimate. Again, making sure that this is a legitimate download for us. So now that we're happy with that, we want to install this package. So what I type in is winget install and then the ID github.cli. So Windows Package Manager downloads that bit of software for me and then installs it for me as well. Now it's an uninteractive installation, so I didn't have to put any further information in. It just accepted all the defaults and did that installation for me. However, you'll have noticed a small dialog box that popped up on screen. That's okay um, sometimes, but sometimes you may want to do a silent install where you get no additional boxes popping up on your screen. So how can we do that? Well, we append an extra command. So here in another example, I'm going to install the Elgato Stream Deck software. If I append dash dash silent to my install command, what it will do is do the install, but suppress any dialog boxes. I'll not get anything additional on my screen. So I can do that silent install um, using Windows Package Manager. Now what about if we want to search for a tool that we don't know the name of or we're not sure if there's even a tool that exists? What we can do is actually use win, winget search and then we can type in something um, vague like Azure to see what products or what um, packages are in the Windows Package Manager repository for us to install. And you can see here I get a bunch of different commands that relate to either Azure or something around using Azure as well. So I can have a look through here and I can find that bit of software that I want to install. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope it's been useful. Please do hit that like button if it has been and leave me a comment if you've got any questions. I'll catch you for another video, folks.